we're back and we're hopefully gonna make something happen um, got a little we'll say scared by the rain there um, yet again we got missed by that much instead of getting hit we got you know 10 drops instead of the inch like we got uh, Tuesday it's Thursday July 5th uh, I got the bean planter back here at the field you can see the rain it's much less tame now um, but out that way uh, they got dumped on they got dumped on pretty good and it was coming from behind us and I could see sunny skies half the time and part of the time I could see what was rain that was coming at us but it fell apart and morphed went around and then dumped on those people way past us over there so that's fantastic so we're gonna put the boxes on there's no boxes on the planter put the boxes back on put some seed in it Dad was about to bring the wagon over a seed and we got 10 drops of rain. I'm like, no, no, don't bring the wagon so we don't get all the seed rained on. But I'm gonna try to plant the high and dry spots, like where it's green and grassy. We'll see how that's going. If it's dry in a couple hours, I'm just gonna zoom across to distribute seed as best as I can and it's done and hope it, hopefully it comes up. But that hillside over there should be dry enough and passable. But it's gonna be this greenish section where there's lots of grass. It's a little damp. See what we can do there.
but today it's July 7th and I'm hoping you guys can see the rows of beans out there. These beans were planted well in that all night session and they're coming up. They got, they got a little shower on them. They're up. So that's fantastic. Um, yeah, we're still planting. Uh, Brad did tillage work yesterday while I mowed hay. So we'll have hay to bale tomorrow. And then possible chances of rain Tuesday, which will be the 10th. And then if the whole forecast holds out, it could be a, a few more days for rain, which is good. We've probably got to the point of the year where uh, it's not going to rain every other day, possibly. I think. I don't know. Of course, it would be my luck that we go from wet, 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 wet to absolute drought. Now, it's going to take a long way to get there. Totally speculative. Um, but I am enjoying the dryness and the absolute certainty of dryness of having no chances of rain for at least a couple days. So I can comfortably bale hay without totally killing myself. So, yep, we got uh, this field down here and um, the, what I call the big basin. It's, it's a little wet. So let's have some planting action. Well, planting's going pretty good. I'm a little disappointed we didn't get to chisel plow this. So there's still um, a couple of ragweeds that aren't greatly maimed. Like here comes a little strip. And this little strip, these few plants, uh, probably went right down the center of the disc a couple times. Now, not chisel plowing, even with chisel plowing, uh, we still left a goodly amount of organic material on top, like all the corn stubble. So, for all the no-till fanatics who are all about leaving the, uh, the stubble on top, well, there's stubble on top. It'll, uh, you know, slow the water down when it runs off. Of course, being tilled up. There's uh, space for the water to get down in. This field is fairly flat, so we don't have to worry about uh, anything going too crazy. No big washes. Um, never any wash, it's flat. This is all bottom ground. There's hardly any slope to it. It's very gentle. Let's see, behind us, uh, we're using some seed. I left the box lids off just because I knew there was no chance of rain. And with no chance of rain, well, it's delightful. But leaving the lids off, I can see how much seed there is. Or if it's too low, I can see the shadow. Or see the light coming through the box to know how much seed's in it. I don't, I don't have to get off. I can see the, the seed level real easy. Oh, so we're coming to a headland. Yeah, it's kind of crazy for being uh, July 7th. We picked sweet corn. This has been the third morning. Uh, we could have had it for July 4th. However, it was July 4th and the, the market uptown that's on Wednesdays was blocked by the 4th of July festivities. So yeah, planting beans. I'm already picking sweet corn. I mean, it's crazy how fast uh, that matured. It's been like 74 days. Um, it came out in like 60 something, 65 maybe. Okay, that might be cutting it a little short saying 65. The point is it was quick though. I usually don't stop so much, but I'm holding on to you guys. So yep, there's the marks in the soil. It is a little harder planting through some of the extra stubbly areas. Uh, at one point I had a little pile of stubble I was pushing along with the buster bar on the front of the planter. Well, I'm afraid I could be getting what I was asking for. Just by looking at the forecast. Like I said, we got a chance of rain on Tuesday. And then that could be it for a while. Like, very sure we're not going to get anything for a few days. Um, so I'd make some adjustments to the planter. Now if we look down, we dig. Okay, that looks damp compared to that. I'm hoping you can see the color difference. Yep, it's moist. We gotta get the seed to that. Um, and this has been a couple days since it was disc because I had to wait for it to dry out and I didn't disc it again. Um, which looks like we're getting pretty good seed coverage here. We come over a couple passes 
and it was getting a little iffy. Like, oh, there we go. We can see a few seeds, but there's also a little, I know, it's not perfectly smooth out here because at the time we were trying to get done. So if I had caught it enough disking, there's a few seeds on top there. Um, so I went through and we come over back to the planter and I adjust them all a little deeper. These bolts uh, allow for play for how deep it goes. And so I took them out so the wheel goes up higher so the blades go in deeper and we pretty well seem to be covering all the seed. I just had to stop. A corn stalk had gotten in here and started to pop the chain off at the, on the top end. And I put the cover on upside down so no corn stalk could get in because that was at the bottom end down here. Um, and that's I think how I got a little piece of corn stalk. <clears throat> but we pretty well seem to be covering all the rest pretty well. He's getting the seed deep enough, so that's good. Hopefully not too deep. I don't know. It's only too deep if it if it rains a bunch. If it rains a bunch. Oh, we're coming in on the last couple of passes of my beans. Looking over there where the marker is. And you can kind of see my tire tracks. Sorry, I gotta look over here to follow my marker. Um, as you can see that instead of tracks. And up here, you get in the shade. You can see the marker mark. You can see the marker. And I'm gonna be supremely impressed, not to keep my own horn there, how square this comes out. Because I planted that free-handed, aiming to be parallel to the trees. So you can see my previous marker, that was pretty solidly there. If anything, we'll be a little close, which is fine. I don't want to be far away and only need three rows of beans when I'm planting ten. So it looks like we might have a little bit of overlap. Which, when I planted corn last year, I had them angled the same way. And I even purposely tried to change the angle when I planted. So that I ended up parallel. That's not bad. You can see it got wet there. And that was Thursday. This is Sunday. And now even... Well, I don't know if you can see it, but... Oh, 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 we're not up to it yet. But up in here, there was a point where I had to lift the planter up a little bit. Because it was causing too much drag. And I was only sinking in as deep as I dissed. I didn't make that mistake this year. I didn't chisel plow this. This may never get chisel plowed again because it's so wet. And sits so wet. That whole barnyard, or not all of it, but a lot of it drains under the road over here. Um, just, there's just grass growing. If it was up to me, I'd plug that hole, keep the water over there as much as possible. If it got to the point where it was running over the road, then yes, we had a lot of rain and it could come this way. It was over there about four or five passes. My original plan, Thursday was to plant both sides of the wet spot, but on that last pass, it was wet for quite a ways more than just where this green grass is. So I gave up on that plan. Now this wet area will supremely test um, the ability of this variety to handle wetness. It's named after the nastiest soil that I know of. On Claremont, it's clay, it's crawdad grounds, it's wet, holds water. Wet's its middle name, I think. Now, while that's not Claremont soil right there, um, this just gets a lot of water based on how the land lays, unfortunately. Yep, yep, uh, still wet, and it's even got a little slope there. That drove me nuts. So I called it quits, it was getting dark. You can see where I stopped there. I didn't think I was that close into the grass and I started having trouble. Well, I'll be able to pick our marker up. Um, east will be meeting west. Of course, that's my catchphrase when we mow hay. You get to the middle of the field, you're going in circles, east has met west, and you're done. Of course, he could be mowing so that it ends up north-south. Uh, two short passes through the wet spot to do since my plan had been to go and stop and work both sides 
and then eventually just plant whichever direction to the middle. Well, I made it making through it all of it. Um, so this will finish up my beans. I'm probably gonna go plant after dark seven acres for dad. And that's a wrap on everything that's dry. There's 11 more um, that we end up planting for my uncle, I guess. And like I said, I think I said this before, it got swamped with rain Thursday. Utterly destroyed. Um, so we're still waiting for that to dry out. Yep. So, my beans are done. Yay. Didn't, it didn't hit that July 12th record from two years ago. But as long as we keep the moisture and the heat going like we have been, I mean, there's corn that's already tasseling. That's super early for around here just because of the heat. I mean, even April planted corn in years past hasn't really been tasseling by July 4th. It's because we never had the heat like we had. Um, yeah, so I don't know what our growing degree day count is. Kind of like what I said about the sweet corn earlier. Uh, I came in well ahead.